Welcome back to Real Roots Radio. I'm so glad to have my friend Tim Stafford of the band Blue Highway joining us on the air today. How you doing, Tim? Good, Daniel. How you doing, man? Doing great. Doing great. Uh, and I'll be even better when I'm in uh, Big Stone Gap, Virginia for the third annual Blue Highway Fest. It's coming up next week, October uh, 9th through the 12th. Uh, why don't you tell us about this a great event and why people do not want to miss it? Well, it's our third year, and it, this is by far, I think, the best lineup we've had. It's just kind of an insane lineup uh, when you look at it. We've got uh, so many great acts, you know, Del McCurry and the Travel McCurry's, Rhonda Vincent, Daryl Scott, uh, Authentic Unlimited, Balsam Range, uh, uh, Larry Sparks. Um, gosh, it goes on and on and on and on. We, we have a lot of bands spread out over four days, and we've got a Rising Stars Challenge, which is a new thing this year, and sort of a talent contest, and uh, that's going to be a really cool thing. And then we also have our Riders workshop on Wednesday, along with the round that we do on stage, very popular uh, event last year. So, yeah, I mean, it just keeps growing. We have two stages now. We have one downtown on Wednesday and Thursday, and then the main one uh, Friday and Saturday. If you've never been to Big Stone Gap this time of year, it is going to be absolutely incredible this year too, because uh, the weather is going to be fantastic, and it's right in the middle of the the fall color change. So. Um, of course, we've got a lot of people asking about roads and the impact of the flood, you know, but I think that all the roads in Big Stone Gap coming, especially coming south into Big Stone Gap are going to be fine. Interstate 81, uh, Highway 26 from Kingsport across, which is the way a lot of people come once they get down here, is fine. All the roads in Wise County are passable and, and everything is, uh, is fine here. They weren't hit near as badly with the flood as we were here in East Tennessee and North, especially North Carolina, just continue to keep those people in your prayers and um, try to help them any way you can, because it's a, it's a tough situation here further South. We're definitely praying for our neighbors uh, in Appalachia who were impacted by the flooding from hurricane Helene. Um, glad that the, the city and the community of Big Stone Gap, Virginia, wasn't nearly as impacted as so many other communities uh, south of there. Um, so it, it it ought to be a great weekend of healing to enjoy some, some good music, soak in the beautiful autumn colors, a fall weekend in the Blue Ridge Mountains with the best in bluegrass and roots music. Uh, sounds uh, sounds good for everybody, especially during an election year. Sounds like a great break from everything. Oh, uh, it's a break from everything. Man. <laughs> the way I look at it, I mean, it's it's kind of healing, like you said. And uh, I've had several people mention that to me that they're looking forward to the festival for that reason, you know. And we will have ways uh, for people to contribute to flood relief there at the festival. And there's going to be a lot of people involved at that with booths and various things there that people can get involved with once they get there. If they're wondering about ways to directly support those people, those things are going to be at the festival. So it's, it's a way to do that as well as to celebrate, like you said, and, and celebrate some relief uh, from everything that's going on. So, yeah. The, the hospitality of Big Stone Gap, Virginia is second to none. Come be a part of the Blue Highway Fest family. The third annual Blue Highway Fest is October 9th through the 12th. Visit bluehighwayfest.com to learn more. I know uh, for, for our neighbors here in the Buckeye State, it's an easy drive down Route 23 to enjoy uh, a great weekend in the Blue Ridge Mountains with the best in bluegrass. The third annual Blue Highway Fest. Now, it's the third year for the festival, but it is 30 years of Blue Highway, Tim. I, I'm sure it's gone by in a flash, hasn't it? In some ways, yeah. In other <laughs> ways, it only seems like it's 50 years, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's it's really been amazing that we got this far. I, I just turn around and look, and I'm like, hey, I remember all that. That was just yesterday. And we still have four of the guys that we started out with, which is uh, pretty pretty amazing this day and age, uh, in bluegrass music especially, where there's not a lot of longevity. But, uh, you know, we're happy that it's still going on and the band is still creative, still trying to do things, you know, that, people enjoy and we we even have a new record out and um, ramping up our social media presence through our new label down the road and acceleration music that they work with so it's uh you know it's an evolving thing 
still yet after 30 years. So I'm, I'm cool with it. I love that the fact that we're still here, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you've been one of my favorite bluegrass bands for a lifetime. Lonesome State of Mind is the new album. It is fantastic. It's uh, one of the finest uh, in your guys' catalog. Why don't you tell us about uh, this great new collection of songs? You know, because a lot of folks for a 30th anniversary record, they might, you know, kind of go back over uh, ground they've already plowed or, or bring in a, a bunch of guests. You guys decided to make a bona fide certified blue highway album that we, that we've come to expect 30 years why was that your decision well we had started out with ways after the pandemic to stay viable and i think most everybody in this business has started to do singles so we did uh, a few singles went in the studio and recorded a few that we might be able to use plus we recorded a few extra uh, just to pick out which singles we wanted to use and so we ended up releasing three of those and then by the time the third one, the North Side, was released, then we thought it was time, you know, and we had actually gone back in and recorded the rest of them, talking to Ken Irwin and the folks at Down the Road. They wanted to have the record ready to be done. And we know it's the 30th anniversary. We had already done a, a 15th anniversary record, and we'd done some other things related to anniversaries. And we thought, well, let's just make this one straight ahead of the record. So we... We wanted it kind of be a snapshot of who the band is now and what we're doing. And it's still a lot of the same stuff. Blue Highway's always been doing a lot of origin, all original material and uh, still got Wayne Taylor and Sean Lane singing those great duets, you know, that they've been doing since the start uh, that I always thought, man, first time I ever heard them, I thought, these guys have got such a special blend of what they do. and. Uh, just the whole the whole band is is still excited about what we do and and this uh, this is a bunch of new songs for us and I'm I'm anxious for people who haven't heard it to, to give a listen. Be sure to check it out. Lonesome State of Mind is available now from Down the Road Records. Uh, Tim, I know that the, the the album is full of originals and there's such a great variety on there. What are a couple that uh, if folks haven't checked out, they, they might want to pay attention or circle or, or go straight to when they check it out on streaming platforms that, that maybe that uh, they haven't heard yet? Well, we, of course, did have those singles, you know, uh, the title cut, Lonesome State of Mind, which was played a lot uh, a couple of years ago. And, uh, and the record is in the first round of the Grammy nominations. I want to mention that. A uh, couple folks are interested in that. Um, and... You know, there's a song, too, on the Roof of the World, which was our first single, I guess, that came out. And uh, then we have the North Side that also came out. That's a Sean Lane song where he has, we got his son, Grayson, to sing with us, which was so cool because he wasn't here when the band started. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just kind of wild, you know, to still have the same band in here. We're, we're growing our tenor singers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So, and he's so good. He's just kind of like a a carbon copy with a modern twist of his dad. His dad would tell you he's way better than he ever was, which says a lot because, you know, Sean's one of the absolute best tenor singers I think we've ever had in bluegrass. And his son is just unreal. So um, I think you're going to be hearing more from Grayson Lane. But, um, you know, we also had this song uh, that Tom Mutes and I wrote called uh, Had Enough Missouri for a while. That's a kind of slow, mournful ballad. Uh, we featured Gary Holtman, our newest member, uh, on a song called uh, uh, Sleepless Nights, Endless, let's see, Endless Tears, Sleepless Nights, Broken Heart. So it's, uh, and that one features him. He does, he's such a great singer too. And uh, been doing a lot more uh, harmony singing and lead singing with us live as well. So. Um, there's a lot of things there. We have two instrumentals uh, that folks can, one of them is Jason Burleson, uh, tribute to Bill Emerson, and the other is a Sean Lane instrumental that he's had for years that we ended up cutting. And then there's a song that Sean wrote to end the record that uh, Ricky Skaggs had recorded already, uh, Why Did I Wait So Long, which was inspired by Lester Flatt. And uh, so we re-recorded -re it, did it a little differently than Rick in. And then also a, a great Wayne Taylor. You can't have a Blue Highway album without one of those slow Wayne Taylor original country-sounding <laughs> country songs. And he's got one here. Uh, 
uh, you know, called Packing Up These Memories, which is uh, inspired by a true incident that he and Jeff Mathis wrote. So it's a, it's a varying collection. It goes from here to there. Uh, there's a, a story song about uh, a true story from Rick Lang and I that Rick, about a guy who, Rick knew this guy in his hometown. It's called Randall Hayes, but it was, uh, the names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> absolute true story and um uh, you know some a lot of times those are the best kind if you can get the true stories that's the, those are the ones that uh just have an impact because yeah change anything come up with anything it's all right there so but uh but yeah it's uh there's there's several other tunes on the record but those are a few that pe most people might want to check out the new album lonesome state of mind is fantastic and there's such a great variety of sounds on the project and a variety of textures and, and material that similar to blue highway fest, but there's a little bit of everything for folks to enjoy. Uh, if you're a roots music fan, you'll love the new album from blue highway and you'll love attending blue highway fest in big stone gap, Virginia, October 9th through the 12th blue .com for more info about the festival. Where can folks go uh, to learn more about this new album and see where you guys are going to be appearing uh, at the end of 2024 and into 25. You can go to our website, which is bluehighwayband.com. And uh, we're also on Facebook. If you look up Blue Highway Band, you might find a few others. There's a few other people calling themselves Blue Highway these days. After 30 years, you figure that's going to happen, you know. But uh, you'll see you'll see us there. So, uh, And we're on Instagram as well and uh, getting ready to expand our social media presence to other places like TikTok as well. So, um, you know, we're around, but bluehighwayband.com is probably the best place to find out about uh, the festival and the record and everything that we've got. Now, there is a bluehighwayfest.com website, and that's where people can buy tickets and find out about the event. Tim, thanks so much for joining us on Real Roots Radio, and I'm looking forward to joining you in, in uh, Big Stone Gap, Virginia, for Blue Highway Fest coming up October 9th to the 12th. Uh, we love having you there, Daniel. So, yeah, looking, looking forward to it. Thank you.